morale was low in the changing room at this moment. You know, there was a feel maybe this is going to be the turnaround. Uh, but unfortunately, we wasn't able to see it through. This box delivers, and more comes in and causes confusion. And there is an equaliser. Colwell, the two substitutes combined. Oh, dear me. Oh, extraordinary moment. A Christmas gift for Middlesbrough. Way over here, no chance for Sam, but talk about a Christmas present. We haven't, we haven't showed enough, so we are having to put ourselves in a position where we are not conceding. And um, when you concede poor goals like we did today, it, it uh, makes it more difficult. Chanting about you and being sacked in the morning, uh, how does that make you feel? Do you, do you, do you think about walking away? Uh, no, no I don't. It, it's, it's very uncomfortable. Breaking news this hour, Chris Hewton has been sacked as manager of Nottingham Forest. He leaves the club bottom of the championship after six defeats in their first seven league games. And are the only team in the championship yet to win. Forest are now looking for their seventh permanent manager in the last five years. Bottom of the championship, Nottingham Forest have appointed Steve Cooper as a new head coach on a deal until the summer of 2023. Steve Cooper, welcome to Nottingham Forest. How does it feel to be here? Proud, privileged, honoured. Um, Great football club, steeped in tradition and history that you know everybody knows about. So uh, it's a real honour to be here. Jed Spence, oh, just marvel at that! What an absolutely stunning goal from Jed Spence! Oh, Yates, and in! They've turned it around. What matters for Forest is that they lead by two goals to one. Oh, a chance for Cafu! Oh. How's he not put that in? Johnson! He's put it in and surely sealed three points for Nottingham Forest. Prospect of another home tie against Premier League opposition is Bigfoot. Nottingham Forest. Yeah, Nottingham, Nottingham Forest against Leicester City would be a good yeah. one. As would Arsenal Leicester as well. Whoever goes through, it'll be a great time. Here's the chance and Lewis Crabben is there. Finally the deadlock's broken. And Arsenal with eight minutes to go are in big trouble now. Nottingham Forest of the Championship. Are they about to do it again? Lewis Graben has come off the bench and grabbed them the lead. Ryan Yates. Johnson, 2-0. An astonishing first half performance here from Nottingham Forest. Now Sarich, can he finish it off? Oh, superb. It's been a memorable afternoon at Bloomfield Road for Nottingham Forest. Looking every inch contenders on this form. Playing it towards the back post. Davis with a header. Zinkanagel! First blood Nottingham Forest. And there could be two in front here. They are! Two in a minute. On his delivery again. He's excellent. The header this time does beat Danny Ward. And they lead the FA Cup holders 3 0. Jet Spence! Forest have four. And it's a long way back for the FA Cup holders from here. First Arsenal, now the holders, Leicester, beaten by Steve Cooper's Nottingham Forest. No to score, and that's how to take a penalty. Copac! Oh! I do not believe it! What have we just witnessed? But if he means that, it's one of the goals of the season. It's absolutely extraordinary. Oh, sorry, just threw it onside! And they finish it in style. A sick successive home win. Uh, Sorich looking to pick out Zinkenagel, Ream stepping across his path, Zinkenagel with a chance, it's rolled in! Nottingham Forest haven't come here to help build the stage for Fulham's coronation. They've got their own promotion dreams to fulfil and they've come out fighting at the cottage. Of course the ultimate is to get automatic promotion. Um, but, um, but that's only, only two spots, you know, we had a good go at that. Now it's playoffs with three other teams and um, it's, you know, like I said, automatic's the one where you want to be, but this is where everybody else wants to be still, coming into training every day, getting ready for. It doesn't happen often these days, but Sheffield United have a problem on their own turf. And Egan has lost out there and this is Joe Lolly closing in. Brandon Johnson waiting to pass! The Johnson family dynasty continues in Nottingham Forest. Into Wolves at the post and the header from Jack Robertson. And they eat into.
to Nottingham Forest lead. It's Brennan Johnson! And Nottingham Forest, the former kings of England, have never been closer to ending their Premier League exile. Burger, and it's forced in. Morgan gives White, gives Sheffield United hope. Colbert, and it's forced in right on the goal line by Fleck. But they leveled the tie. And goes the corner, away by Norwood. There's the full-time whistle. We're going to extra time. No one steps up, and Samba saves it. First penalty of the night, and Bree Samba gives Nottingham Forest an early advantage. Johnson's attempt to penenka it down the middle. Doesn't do that this time. Finds the bottom corner. It's Harahan. And he's missed. Samba got a glove on it. Off the bar. And Nottingham Forest now. Absolutely in the box seat for Wembley. It's like a stroll in the park, this for Bruce Sandler. He's the most relaxed man inside the stadium. He's been the magic man for the Blades all season. Morgan gives wide. And it's saved by Samba. And Nottingham Forest are on their way to Wembley. And Steve Cooper will become the first Nottingham Forest manager since Brian Clough to take them to Wembley. A remarkable job done by that man who has led Nottingham Forest from the bottom of the championship table to the championship final and they will play Huddersfield Town at Wembley later this month. Cool heads required right now. You would never ever have guessed that Nottingham Forest to a bottom of the championship in September when Steve Cooper took charge of them that they would be here on this day at the end of May. But here they are, and one of these two sides will be a Premier League club come the end of today. Oh, great ball in it! And Yates attacked it, and then Coleman might have got a bit of it too. But Forrester in front, that much is for sure. Well, Carlos Corbran, very gracious. Stayed. Every single Reds fan has stayed here to watch these players lift this trophy, which confirms their return to the Premier League for the first time in 23 years. Bottom of the table, Stuart, when Steve Cooper took over. Now they're in the Premier League. Well, I think that's the most exciting thing about today's victory. The dedication, turning the team around, uh, getting the results that they needed just to get here. Soak in the atmosphere because this is amazing. This achievement, Mamma Mia, Mamma Mia. <laughs> uh, I'm just so, so proud, especially for the manager. And we were, we've been a mistreated team. And I think he's come in and he's, he's uh, given us that hope, given us that belief. And he's uh, just been so nice. He's just ki killed us with kindness. And the fans absolutely adore him. He deserves every single ball that it comes his way because he's been in Manus. Nice, articulate, passionate, empathetic, thoughtful, kind, caring. The type of leader Nottingham Forest fans absolutely love. Another one that they absolutely love is getting lots of love here. So you can't understate what this man next to us has done by getting the club back up. To try and get it up, a lot of people before him have tried and failed. A couple of things I want to say to you, all right? I just got back to that meeting that we had. We spoke about family, okay? Make sure you spend time with your family today. The people that have been good to you in your life, because they won't be anybody prouder than them. Okay? All right? And the second thing is, what is the Premier League?